Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to do P to V or physical to virtual uh, OS conversions using a program called Paragon Backup and Recovery. So this is the free version. The uh, pay for version or pro version has other features like cloning your OS and partition management and so on. But the free version will also do regular backups, uh, volume backups or uh, individual file backups and does a really good job. We just did a video on how that works. But today we're going to show you how to do the uh, physical to virtual conversion. So you could go from physical to uh, VMware, Hyper-V, or a VHD file. So we're going to do VMware for this example. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert the OS drive on this computer here and then import it into a new virtual machine and a VMware workstation and then start it up and run it from there. So normally, you know, you would be doing this on a physical to virtual, obviously, but for demonstration purposes, I'm going to do this on a virtual machine and then uh, import it to a new virtual machine. So it'll work the same way. You just have to make sure you copy your backup file over. So I have a one that I did before. So the way it works is you do a new one here. You could call it whatever you want if you want to just, you know, something like that. Uh, source, disks and volumes. Then you want to pick C and it'll say automatically uh, included some other, the other partitions for backup integrity. Backup 2, we're going to do the E drive here. Then you can make a folder beforehand to copy it, otherwise I'll put it in the root of the folder and with a job name like this, a generic job name. So I always like to make a new folder beforehand and then choose it from there. But we're not going to do that in this case. And I'll show you why in a second there. And then for the options, okay, obviously we're not going to schedule, it's just a one-time thing, and we're going to do a full backup. Um, and for keeping it, it's up to you if you want to keep it forever or set one of these options for retention. So here in the options tab, this is where you want to choose your type here. So the default is a Paragon image, so it's just a backup image file. Or we're going to do a VMware image, VMDK file. Then you can have compression options, which you can't change, and splitting you can't change for this as well. And then you have these options as well for preventing sleep, check it, backup integrity, and shut down. Then you would just click backup now, and that would take quite a while to do it. So I've already done this, and so I have the uh, file here. So I have this here, this HDD-0 VMDK file. So what you would do, once you create it on your physical computer, you know, put it on a backup drive or flash drive, where it'll fit, then you want to copy it over to your uh, host that's running VMware or Hyper-V. And that's what I did here, so I'm going to minimize this here. And so here's the file that I copied over from the quote-unquote physical machine. So now what I'm going to do in VMware Workstation is I'm going to do a new virtual machine. This is Workstation 17. Uh, custom. Next. So I will install the operating system later because we're not installing an operating system. We're trying to uh, boot up the existing one. Windows. I'm picking Windows 11 because it's a Windows 11 VM. You know, choose the one you want from the list. Uh, let's call this imported. And pick your location if you want to change it. Okay, now since this is a, a Windows 11 computer and it's Workstation 17, it's going to want to encrypt the files and add TPM support. And this will do the same thing when adding a or creating a new Windows 11 virtual machine. So I'm going to put in a password here. I'm just going to have it remember it. Pick UEFI. Process is fine. We'll just do this fine because it's just for testing. You could tweak all this if you want to fine tune it. We'll use NAT. Default there, default there. Now we're going to use an existing virtual disk. Let's browse to it. It's not VirtualBox, VMware. There it is. So next, you customize the hardware if you want. Finish. Okay, so now here's our imported VM. We just turn it on, our imported VMDK file, I should say. There's our window screen. All right, getting devices ready. 
Okay, login screen. All right, so we got the same desktop as the uh, one we exported it from. Just like that. So it worked really smoothly. So like I said, you know, obviously this was a virtual to virtual, so, but it should work the same way for physical to virtual since it's the same process, so it didn't know any different. So I'll put a link in the description. You could download it yourself and do some P to V and see how it works for you. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. Thank mm -hmm. you.